Hi everyone, it's Janine here, and in today's video we are going to be learning about limits and continuity. So, a function f of x is continuous at a value a if and only if the limit as x approaches a of f of x is equal to f of a. Otherwise, f of x is discontinuous at a. So, in other words, for a function to be continuous, the following conditions must be met. So, number one is that the limit as x approaches a of f of x exists. Number two is that f of a exists. And number three is that one and two are equal to each other. So let's go ahead and take a look at some examples and apply this. So in this first example here, we are given a graph of f of x and we want to determine if the function is continuous. And just by looking at the graph of this function, we can see that this function is not continuous because we have a removable discontinuity at x equals two. But in order to prove that this function is not continuous, we need to use the limit definition of continuity. So all we need to do is prove that this function is not continuous at one point in order to prove that it is not a continuous function. So we are going to start out by taking the limit as x approaches 2 of f of x. And we're taking the limit as x approaches 2 because we can see from our graph that our removable discontinuity occurs at that point. That point is problematic. So if we can just prove that our function is not continuous at that particular point, then we can prove that our function is not a continuous function. And we can see from our graph that as we approach an x value of 2, we are approaching a y value of 3 from the left-hand side. And as we approach x equals 3 from the right-hand side, we also approach a y value of 3. So this means that this limit is equal to 3. And as our next step, we need to determine what f of 2 is equal to. And all this means is that we need to figure out what y value corresponds to x equals 2. And so taking a look at our graph here, we can see that the x value of 2 corresponds to 1. So this means that f of 2 is equal to 1. And from here, we can see that 1 and 2 are not equal to each other, and so f of x is not continuous. And let's go ahead and take a look at one more example. So in this next example here, we are given this piecewise function f of x. So we have f of x is equal to 2x plus 1 when x is not equal to 1, and f of x is equal to 0 when x is equal to 1. And we want to determine if this function is continuous. So as our first step, we are going to take the limit as x approaches 1 of f of x. And so the reason that we're taking the limit as x approaches 1 is because from looking at this piecewise function, we can see that we have a removable discontinuity at the point x equals 1. And so that point is problematic. So if we're able to prove that this function is not continuous at one point, we can prove that this function is not a continuous function. And so let's go ahead and determine what the limit as x approaches 1 of f of x is equal to. And we're just concerned with the behavior as x approaches 1 from the left-hand side and the right-hand side. So this means that we don't actually care what's happening at the point x equals 1. So what we're going to do is plug in the value x equals 1 into this top function here. And so we have 2 times 1 plus 1 which is equal to 2 plus 1, which is equal to 3. And as our next step, let's go ahead and determine what f of 1 is equal to. And all this means is we want to determine what the y value is that corresponds to x equals 1. And so taking a look at our piecewise function here, we can see that when x is equal to 1, f of x is equal to 0. And so this is just equal to 0. And from here, we can see that these two values are not equal to each other. And so this means that f of x is not continuous. And so that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.